so I will, Go ahead. yeah that's where i'm i'm oh don't worry i'm i'm all about the letters now that i've read these letters i'm like oh i got another letter in my pocket <laughs> so i will i'm actually going to sit on the floor against the door okay and i'm going to very very carefully um untie it and very very carefully unroll it marshall will you read the letter you're muted. You would like me to read the letter? I would. All right. Yeah, because then it's like, you know, like in movies where it's like in the person's voice that wrote it? I'm imagining it in your voice. What does it sound like? All right. Leona, I hope that you will forgive my subterfuge in this matter. I had a good friend ages ago and you remind me very much of him. He could leave no tale unfinished. I knew you would not be able to resist. I hold no anger towards you. And as I hand you this, hand this to you, know that I will be smiling to myself. There are far too many things I would like to say to each of you, but I will not ramble on and waste your time by trying to convince you of things that are patently true. Forgive me, though, if I plant a seed in the hopes that it will one day grow into the knowledge of your own qualities. Deirdre, I may, know, I may never know the source of your fear, but I do know the terror of uncertainty. Remember that fear is natural. Anyone who tells you they have no fear is either lying or a great fool. Courage, though, is standing up in the face of that fear. I see much courage in you, little one. You possess the ferocity of a mother dragon protecting her brood. Kesra, you are filled with anger. This is neither a good nor or a bad quality. Fury at the sight of great evil has been the turning point of countless battles, while enmity without a purpose has cost innumerable innocents their lives. Do not allow your anger to wield you. In the darkest places, that is where the light shines the brightest. I have faith in you. Leona, I see in you a heart worth its weight in platinum. You care so deeply, even for an old stranger. You are neither your hair nor your embroidered dress, nor who and what you know. You are a soul who longs for the comfort and happiness of everyone around you. That is why you sing and tell your tales. Your sincerity is a rare thing in this or any world. Never allow anyone to give you cause to question that. As for me, Leona, I am contented with my place in this world. If I had not been where I was, Deirdre would have been lost. There must always be someone in the dark places to keep watch. And sometimes there are a great many things which are far more paramount than our own contentment. If this must missive does reach your hands, my little desert mouse, know that the southern wall still stands. Memories of sunlight filters through the crenellations each day, and every evening the battlements are bathed in the same silvered starlight. If you still hold any value to my assessments, these are good people. It is my hope that this letter finds you well. In vigilance, Marshall. 